You may know her from The Sopranos. Drea DiMatteo says that she made more in one month on OnlyFans than on The Sopranos. Apparently, I read somewhere that she was only paid like 500 bucks an episode for the first season. Now, I've never been a big uh, Sopranos person. I have only seen snippets. I maybe have seen an episode here or there. My, I had friends and family that were super into it. People say it's like the best show ever. Super good. I didn't see it, to be completely honest. I saw this news, and the first thing I thought to myself was, I mean, I'll just show you the tweet. I said, women deciding to be hookers instead of having jobs is an arc I didn't expect feminism to take. And I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm only half serious. But this resulted in Drea responding and calling me a name, which I believe she is wrong. But I also think exposes the hypocrisy and the shame of being a hooker. Look, I'm not here to mince words or play games. OK, I don't I, I, hooker. It's the word that we use growing up in Chicago. We said hooker. That's the term. It means prostitute. Prostitute is defined as somebody who sells sexual activity or engages in sexual activity for money. And I don't see a distinction between OnlyFans, whether it's racy sexual content with some nudity, but privates exposed or full on sexual activity. They're just degrees. And if we're arguing degrees, we're in agreement. It is sexual activity. So let me start before showing you the uh, the Twitter, I guess. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a flame war or anything. But uh, uh, Dre responded to me and uh, she called me a naughty word in response. And I think this exposes a lot of the shame women have for actually being involved in this. It's it's dirty money. They don't like it. People don't like it. Guys get off on it. Guys will pay for it, but they ain't going to give you no respect. I don't care if that's what you want to do. I just I think you shouldn't pretend to be forced into doing it and pretend to be ashamed or outraged that people would call you what you are. I don't know, Drea. I got no beef with her. And to be fair, I did not explicitly call her a hooker, though I did implicitly call her one. I will accept that. Is that word supposed to be offensive to a hooker? Like, I, I got to be honest. I don't hear the word hooker and think insult. I descriptive noun. I felt like I feel like prostitute is too heavy handed, but you know, and hooker was the slang, slang term for a woman selling sex. Well, let's slow down. Let me show you the article in question and uh, where this all begins. From Barstool Sports, Drea Di, uh, Matteo, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, made more in one month on OnlyFans and on Sopranos. You hear that from far, far away out in New Jersey. You hear someone saying, Christopher, yep, we have thing did it. We got Drea on the podcast this week. And it goes without saying, it's one of my favorite episodes of all time. Drea is obviously Ad, uh, Adriana La Serva from The Sopranos, as well as Wendy in Sons of Anarchy and a whole bunch of other amazing acting roles, including Joey's sister Gina on the short-lived Joey, which is all fun and stuff to discuss along with her recently joining OnlyFans. Now, you see, we got to pause there right away. It seems like from the from the gist of the article or from the headline, a lot of people are like, wow. She wasn't making any money acting. No, 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 no. Hold on there just a minute. Sopranos was a very, very long time ago. She's had work since then. She has made the choice to sell sex for money. And Adrea, if, if you end up hearing this, you're going to have to explain to me why you're offended by choosing to do the job that you're doing and me pointing it out for you to call me such an awful word. We learn that she's getting requests on OnlyFans, what she's posting on there. If Tony and Adriana would have hooked up they uh, had they not gotten into a car accident, uh, how she got on Joey, how she found out Adriana's fate in The Sopranos and so much more. It truly was a joy and I cannot compliment her enough for being so GD cool. She even sat back and enjoyed a tasty Four loco Jungle Juice as uh, with us as our new sponsor. Amazing stuff till next time. So there was a bunch of big news last year about her joining OnlyFans. And now I will be fair on this. I said, Women deciding to be hookers instead of having jobs is an arc I didn't expect feminism to take. And the post has gotten 4.4 million views. And because uh, there's Cassandra pointing out, she's 52 years old as well. Now, uh, here's an image. I don't know if this is an OnlyFans image or what this image is, but you can see that her boobs are mushed and pressed up and, and sticking out. Whatever. 
I looked into it. And what I can say is there are images purportedly from her OnlyFans of her fully nude, but covering herself and other images that are sexually suggest- suggestive, like an up close photograph of her boobs in a bikini. Now, by all means, many people may say, no, you, you can't say that a woman posting a picture of her boobs is sexual activity or whatever. It's like, no, 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 hold on. Let me let me let me let me tell you this. Personally, I am of the opinion that we are only arguing now degrees of sexual activity. If a woman wears a bikini, not sexual activity. If a woman goes to the beach, not sexual activity. I can hear the feminists swinging already. What I'm saying is if a woman takes requests to post pictures of her body, uh, uh, secondary sexual characteristics or sexual characteristics at all, sexually suggestive photos and you know what they're for. That is just the lightest degree of sexual activity. That's what a prostitute does. But you see people saying, like, no, a prostitute specifically does the act itself. And I'm like, we are not in that era anymore. If you go back in time and go to the brothels, it, sure, the majority of the time it was do the deed, get the money. But there are many circumstances, even today, where the man does not touch the woman and the woman. So like in the Netherlands, for instance, let me put it this way. Women are in are, are in small rooms with, with a glass in front of them. You go into a room and you pay. You don't get to touch the woman. Is that sexual activity? Yes. Now, I can already hear some people are saying strippers aren't hookers. I disagree. And I suppose it might be fair to draw the distinction because some people might say if she's actually bringing the guys in the back room, there's a big difference. Look, man, what I'm saying is degrees of sexual activity. It's still paying for sexual activity. And that is how we define prostitute. That's it. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, what would you call it if a woman was on a street corner wearing like weird ass clothes and a guy pulled up and was like, I want you to come back to the hotel room and I want you to like strut around and take your clothes off and I'm going to sit back and watch and get off on it. You, we, we'd still call that prostitution. I suppose legally there may be a distinction. But this is why I say hooker, because, we're, we're, this, this, you know, growing up, this is how we define it. But let, let, let me let me stop ranting. Dre responded, well, I'm glad Tim Cast clarified that I'm a hooker and he's a uh, she called me. I, I'm, I mean, like this segment is already pretty unfamily friendly, but the C word, as it were, keep saving America with your big influential platform by taking cheap shots at struggling single moms. Tough guy. Super cool skater ish, bro. The hooker of Hollywood. Taking shots at. I don't I don't see how anything I said was insulting. I was a legitimate thought I had. I was like, I'm sitting there thinking like, I really didn't think this 20 years ago that feminism would be like, you will make more money by selling sexual activity on on a social media platform. I don't know how that's anything other than neutral. Clarified that I'm a hooker, but you are. I don't understand why you're upset. Drea, you sell pictures of your body for money. Why are you offended that I point that out? How is that offensive in any way? Hey, you, you're, you're selling your body on OnlyFans. How dare you? But you literally chose to do it. Oh, boy. To which I responded, I don't see why it would be offensive to point out that selling sex on OnlyFans is hooking. What about pointing out that women are quitting their jobs to do sex work is C-word worthy? Y'all should be proud of the work you do. And to be fair, I never explicitly called you a hooker because maybe you just post selfies on OnlyFans or something. But to be fair, I am implicitly calling you and women who use OnlyFans hookers. I will, I will, I will accept that. The issue is, however, I can't show you the pictures that reportedly are from her OnlyFans. I'm not going to sign up for OnlyFans or use it. But the news reports that have come about, uh, come out about her work on OnlyFans have showed se- shown several images. Like there's one where she's fully naked. And she has her arms over her chest and her legs are crossed, but she's fully naked. And there's another one where it's just a straight up picture of her boobs. Okay. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Like some people may make the argument that they go on OnlyFans and they post classy photos. There are some women who do this. That's totally true. But I, I don't think anyone believes that's the reality here. The reality is that women know they're selling their bodies for money. Women know that they are taking requests to engage in sexually suggestive poses so that dudes can get their rocks off. I I, I don't look. Maybe you want to make the argument that you'd consider prostitution the direct act of a dude and a woman getting together and doing like physical contact stuff for money. But the way I see it is 
We invented new means by which women can convey sexual activity. We still consider that the same thing. Like, you know, walking up to someone in the street and tricking them and taking their money is fraudulent. Just because you sent a text, you can still be charged with fraud. Like, I, I'm just saying, like, doing it over the phone may remove the sexual activity, but like, you are engaged in sexual activity for money, which is the literal definition of prostitution, under which strippers would fall under this, an act of prostitution. Maybe you might disagree with that one. Fair point. By all means, you're free to do so. So we took it to the internet and we asked, let's do a quick refresh on this Twitter thread. And I said, do you consider selling nudes or sexually suggestive photos on OnlyFans sexual activity? 11,137 votes, 90.4% said yes. That is 9.6 said, no, it's not. I said, to clarify, do you consider selling sexually suggestive photos to be sexual activity, i.e. legs spread, clothes on, or nude but covering privates? 85.7 said, it is sexual activity too. And I then said, does selling sexual activity make you a hooker? 82.7 said yes. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I'm wrong on this one. Maybe I shouldn't call women who use OnlyFans to sell images of their body in sexually suggestive ways for cash hookers. I don't know. That's just how I grew up and the way that me and my friends describe things and viewed the world. That's our worldview. But I don't think I'm alone in this one. That's why I did a series of Twitter polls. To be fair, the people who follow me on Twitter probably like the things I have to say, though many probably don't like the things I have to say. And I currently have 2 million uh, followers on Twitter. Not like it's a scientific poll. It is a poll of the people who follow me. I grew up in Chicago among liberals. I am a politically moderate individual who is an independent leaning Republican today. I despise the Republican Party. I think the Democrats are substantially worse, but I don't like either of them. Probably would lean more libertarian if the libertarians actually had a shot. I'm a fan of the Mises caucus. And here we are. It would seem that at least of the 11,000 in the first poll, the 5,000 in the second, and the 5,500 in the third, most people agree with the position that I took, at least in this poll of my followers. Selling a photo where you spread your legs, but you're wearing a unitard is sexual activity. Taking a picture of your boobs in a bikini at request or for men and charging them money for it is, is selling sexual activity. It is the lightest degree of it. I'm going to stress this for all the whinging uh, women who, for some reason, are offended at being sex workers. Ladies, I did not say there's anything wrong with being a sex worker. Not once. I literally said I didn't expect feminism to take this arc. If you get offended by that, it says more about how you feel about your job than how I feel. You got all these feminists coming out and they're saying sex positive, sex work is real work. And I'm like, OK. This is really fascinating. I tweeted, if sex work is real work, then a boss should be able to require a blow job as a job requirement. Should be able to require like. And feminists lost their mind and said, no, because that would be rape. And I'm like, no, 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 no. What are you talking about? If sex work is real work akin to the same things as being a janitor or a lawyer, why would it not be allowed for a boss to be like, we're looking for a maid and a uh, hand dropper? It's just work, right? And then people say it's the wrong kind of job. Like if he hired her for a second, no, 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 no. This is a lie. And it's because they know what they're doing is shameful and they're ashamed of it. I'm not saying they should be. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it is sex work. My point was, if you really thought sex work was just work and it's indistinguishable, then there should then bosses should be allowed to keep it indistinguishable. But they can't accept they get mad about it. I'm going to stress this again. If you got mad, Drea or anyone else on OnlyFans, that I pointed out your hookers, that's that says something about how you see yourself, not how like, do you want to not be seen as a hooker? Are you like shocked that you're going on podcasts and giving statements to the press about how you sell sexual photos for money? And then you're like, Oh, no, people found out that I'm doing the thing I openly sell and talk about as a business. 
You're offended that people have pointed that out. What should I describe a woman selling uh, nude photos of herself or uh, spread spread eagle photos or photos of their boobs for money, taking requests from men? Now, to be fair, she does say that some people pay her to yell Christopher or something. Great. We've got Fiverr for that. And we've got what a cameo. How about this? You want to yell Christopher or you want to yell anything? And like, let's say uh, you had a bit part in a movie where you're the guy who says, well, them's the breaks and everybody loves you. That's called Cameo. Cameo is an app where someone can say, I'd like to pay you 10 bucks for a Cameo. You could totally do that. Tons of personalities do. OnlyFans is almost predominantly, or at least the presumption of, and I believe it is, uh, sexually suggestive content and overt sex content. Really hardcore stuff. So uh, why are you mad that people are pointing out you're doing what you said you're doing? And I'll throw it here to uh, H. Pearl Davis. Jeremy Boring. Let's start with the tweet from Jeremy Boring, actually. H. Pearl Davis responded. Jeremy Boring says, if you take your cues about morality from a man who uses sex to manipulate women into doing porn for profit and then sells a course teaching others to do the same, all while lying about his wealth and boasting about his sexual conquests, you deserve the contempt he holds you in for being as foolish as he counts on you being. H. Pearl Davis says, anyone that has spent a lot of time interviewing sex workers knows they are not manipulated into doing it at all. They enjoy it. Remember, the average OnlyFan model makes $150 a month. They are not doing it for money. They are not manipulated into doing anything they don't want to do. I don't know if I completely agree with uh, H. Pearl Davis on this one. I believe there are many women who are manipulated into it and come to regret it. We see uh, many women who have done porn and then say that it was wrong. It was a mistake. They were lied to. There are many women who are promised lots of money and then don't make any money. I knew this woman a long time ago, and she was talking about how she hated work. She was like a waitress or something. And she's like, I don't make any money. I make like 10 bucks an hour or something. And I laughed and I was like, that's how much I made when I worked at an airport. What am I going to do about it? And so she said she was going to, this is 15 years ago or whatever. She's like, she was going to do cam girl stuff. And I was like, are you joking? She's like, I think I'll make a lot of money. And she made nothing. And boy, did she regret it. Because now those photos and videos of her are everywhere forever. And she got nothing for it. And she's ashamed of it. Look, man, here's what I think. I think a lot of women do like doing it. I think Pearl is correct on this one. A lot of women really, really enjoy it. That's why if you go on Reddit, they have a bunch of forums where women literally post their bodies for nothing. That's right. I can't remember the name of the subreddits, but there's several where women will post pictures of themselves. Sometimes they'll blur their faces. I think typically they do of their naked bodies and they'll be like, rate me and men will rate them and they love doing it for free. But not every woman, not every woman. I actually do believe that I believe the large majority of women who engage in OnlyFans stuff are ashamed of themselves. And the reason why we say the sex work, we we see the feminists who are like sex work is work and sex positive stuff is because they are desperately trying to rationalize. Like they feel bad and they need you to tell them it's okay. You know, let, let me let me tell you. How often do you see me come out and go, podcasting is real work. Podcast work is work. Okay, I, I'm a podcaster, okay? I never do that because I am working and I sell a product. That's about it. There is something about sex work where they're desperately trying to seek validation because they need people to tell them it's fine what they're doing, but they know in their heart of hearts what they're doing is shameful. Not every woman. A lot of women enjoy it and have no shame in it. I'm saying there are many women who are desperately trying to justify what they do as work because they're ashamed of it. How many women are going to come home to their family and, and brag about the new promotion they got in the porn industry? Mostly they, they, they don't. But I, I'm telling you, some women do. Now, here's the issue I take. Ultimately, it comes down to this. Drea is selling images of her body in sexually suggestive ways for money, according to numerous reports showing photos that I can't show on YouTube. I mean, this is the crazy thing. One of these photos I could not put up here without getting demonetized or flagged or age restricted. And that in and of itself, this video is already on the line with everything I've talked about. And that in and of itself, I'm like, 
Those are the news reports. You choose to come out here. You say, I'm doing this for money and I'm making so much. And it's like, OK, well, you're a hooker. And then how dare you call me what I just said I was? Huh? Is it the word hooker that you don't like? I guess. That was just the colloquial term we use for a woman who sells sex. Prostitute is so like heavy. You know what I mean? And prostitute also is used, according to the definition on Oxford, as someone who exploits their talents in amoral ways for money. And I'm like, that's an interesting way to put it. And I think the, the idea is because prostitute implies you're doing something uh, uh, untoward. You uh, like that, that. That's why I, just, I don't ever be f- f- fond of the word, because, you know, people will call someone a prostitute. They refer to these journalists as prostitutes because it's an insulting thing. It's saying you're doing something immoral. And hooker is just an informal word to say prostitute, which means someone who sells sexual activity or engages in sexual activity for money. And I'm like, that's what OnlyFans is. You're just an e-hooker. It's digital hooking. You're, you're, you're getting as close as you can as to doing it with a guy, but you know, you're not crossing, you're not in the, in the, in the, in the real world, but it's as hooking as you can get over the internet. That being said, once we get like Neuralink or even now with like VR stuff, VR stuff is going to be wild because you're going to get like some woman, she's going to put on her goggles. It's going to create an avatar of her and it's going to do like fake simulated stuff or whatever, which like the guy's not going to feel anything, but you know, they'll take care of themselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, this is hooking, okay? I got no, I, I, I don't even know why y'all mad about it. Well, no, no, that's not true. I know, I said it, because they're really ashamed. They are ashamed at what they've become from being a prominent actress in a bunch of shows to being a hooker, the hooker of Hollywood. Yeah, you wouldn't be the first. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see y'all then.